Good morning. I'm Dr. Mary Ann Gale from New South Wales Health with the COVID-19 update for today, Thursday, the 11th of November. In New South Wales, in the 24 hours till 8 p.m. last night, there were 261 locally acquired cases of COVID-19 reported and more than 77,000 COVID-19 tests reported. In terms of vaccination, across New South Wales, 94% of people aged 16 years and over have received a first dose of a COVID vaccine and 90.4% of people are now fully vaccinated. In the 12 to 15 year old age group, 80.3% have had a first dose of a COVID vaccine and 71.1% are fully vaccinated. Sadly, New South Wales Health is today reporting the death of a woman in her 60s from southwestern Sydney who passed away at Sutherland Hospital. She was not vaccinated and had underlying health conditions. And on behalf of New South Wales Health, I express my sincere sympathies to the family and the friends uh, of that lady who passed away. Currently in hospital, there are 228 COVID-19 cases admitted, with 40 people in intensive care, 16 of whom require ventilation. Of those people in ICU, 27 are not vaccinated, 7 have received a first dose, and six people have received two doses of a COVID-19 vaccine. In terms of our ongoing sewage surveillance program, fragments of COVID-19 have been detected in the catchments from West Wyalong, Urala, Bermagui and Cobar, and we're currently not aware of active cases of COVID-19 in those areas. So if you live in any of those areas, I do encourage you to be particularly vigilant, to come forward for testing if you have even the mildest of symptoms and to please get vaccinated if you've not already done so. It's really great that in New South Wales, we have now reached the 90% double dose milestone, but it's really important that we continue our efforts to further increase our vaccination coverage. I'd like to particularly encourage anyone in the community who has fully recovered from COVID-19, if you've been unwell, that uh, you can now get vaccinated. Um, you don't need to delay vaccination. And if you're unsure, please talk to your GP. I'd also like to encourage anyone who's had a first dose of a COVID vaccine but hasn't yet got their second dose, please don't delay. Uh, two doses offers greater protection than just one dose. So please do arrange to get your second dose. I'd like to also encourage people who are now eligible for a booster dose, uh, that is six months have passed since you had your initial two doses, to please um, book in and arrange to get your booster. And that's available to anyone who's 18 years and over. Um, and finally, I'd like to particularly encourage our young people who aged 12 to 15 years of age, if you haven't yet got vaccinated with either your first dose or your second dose, please book in to do so. It's really great to see our rates of vaccination increase and our coverage increase such a lot in that young age group. And I'd like to encourage our young people and parents as well to encourage our 12 to 15 year olds to get vaccinated. So again, thank you very much everybody for your continued efforts to get vaccinated to get tested promptly if you have symptoms and to continue to practice COVID safe behaviours as you go out and about in the community. Thank you.